My name is Jane Hill, and I'm a member of the Gold Coast Quilters Guild. I'm telling my quilt story at the Boca Raton Community Center in Boca Raton, Florida, on Wednesday, October 17, 2018. This is the quilt I brought with me today, and this is an example of a machine-made mola. I was excited about molas for many years before I actually started designing using the mola as my main um, motif, I suppose. I had always enjoyed seeing molas in different places with all the intricate work, the tiny little details, the tiny little stitches, and my one attempt to do that was a total failure. So I was, at the, about that time, I was doing the projects for Kay Wood's quilting cruises. And she and I found this uh, cruise that one of the ports was the San Blas Islands. And that's where the Kuna Indians live and that's where the molas are made. So I said to Kay, I think we need to plant a cruise to see what's happening there and see what maybe we can take from that to do the, the project. So uh, she agreed, so did my husband and her husband. <laughs> so we went and I found two or, well, I found more than two or three. I found quite a few molas that would lend itself to simpler designs, something I thought we could do on the cruise. I had been teaching an embellishments class and we had done a form of uh, reverse applique, just simply taking a piece of fabric and cutting different shape holes, stitching around them, and then it was fabric for you to use to make something. So I thought, hey Kay, I know how to do this. So we got the designs together and that sort of thing. Um, Kay does not do anything by hand and I rarely do. So this uh, technique to do this by machine was great for both of us. We did teach this on the cruise and by the time I got up my act together, we had too many patterns, too many things to do. So that became a book and the book is called uh, reverse applique. And, and in fact, it is reverse applique, but it's also positive applique because some of the pieces that you cut away become a piece on top of the fabric as well as where the cutaways are. The technique is simple. It's easy to do. You can use lots of bright colors. And uh, that's my story about this little quilt. <laughs>